I wanted to play a, a clip from Frank Capra, the great director. It's a Wonderful Life. My goodness, much more important. Why we fight series in World War II. He hung out of World War. He, he hung out of B-17s and was was taking film footage uh, to send back to the United States so we could keep sending those bonds and bond money to Washington to finance the war that would kill the Nazi regime. And as a great American, and Frank Capra was reflecting in 1981 at the American Film Institute about what made him the man he was, and he had this to say about his father in front of Betty Davis, Nearly Bob Hope. Seventy-nine years ago, I celebrated my sixth birthday in the black dark hole of a creaking ship crammed with wretching praying terrorized immigrants 13 days of misery and then the ship stopped and my father grabbed me and carried me up the steep iron stairs to the deck and then he shouted Chico look at that at first all I saw was a deck full of people on their knees crying and rejoicing my father cried, that's the greatest light since the star of Bethlehem. I looked up, and there was the statue of a great lady, taller than a church steeple, holding a lamp over the land we were about to enter. And my father said, it's the light of freedom, Chico. Remember that. Freedom. It's the light of freedom, Chico. And then he went on to tell the story about how his father took him to Los Angeles. And when he got to Los Angeles, he looked at the beauty and the landscape, and his father actually kissed the ground and then said a prayer. And then he kissed the award, looked up to his father, and said, Thank you, Father. Thank you for all you did for me. And the place, there's not a dry eye in the house. What an act of courage of that father to cross an ocean for the family and for the family's good. This is what fathers do. Mothers do it, too. But we're, we're here to celebrate Father's Day. I want to play Stephen Curry, who during his MVP speech, and you didn't hear this, not a lick of this in the media. And this is what bothers me sometimes, the clips that get pulled and the clips that don't. So I want you to hear from Stephen Curry about his father during this tribute. Sean. There are priorities in life. And obviously, your faith is, is, is first and foremost. Um, you know, how we did in school growing up was important. If we didn't handle that business, then there were no, no privileges. We, I remember sitting at my first middle school game because I didn't handle my stuff at home. That's a pretty embarrassing moment if you go to, you know, to your first middle school game and you have to tell your, your, your team, hey, fellas, I can't play tonight. I didn't do the dishes at home. And they're like, what? Like, what so just that that lesson taught me there's more to, there's more to life than basketball there's uh, obviously the most important thing is is your family and taking care of each other um loving each other no matter what and i and regardless if i were to play basketball or not i know you guys love me without a shadow of a doubt you would encourage me in any part of life that i or any path that i take i would have taken so just thank you so much and pops you're the example of what a true professional is on and off the court you I, I remember a lot of your career, um, and to be able to follow in your footsteps, it uh, it means a lot to me. This is special. Um, I'm really proud of you know what you were able to do in your career, and um, I don't take that for granted at all. A lot of people um, thought I had it easy with, with the pops playing, you know, in the NBA, but. It was, uh, it was, uh, I'll get to that part down the road, but it was an interesting journey and, um, just who you are. You, you made it okay for me to have a family at my age when I, when I started it and to know that, um, you take care of your business, you know, you, you, you'll be all right. So, so thank you so much. That's Stefan Curry talking about his father, himself, an NBA player. And Stefan was just an amazing, amazing guy. An amazing ball player, the grace with which he handles himself. He's a father himself, a young father, married, trying to toe the line. And listen to him tear up. This is the effect fathers have on us. I mean, I teared up. I watched Jorge tear up. You get, you listen to Sheriff Clark, and we, Clark should tear up. And we know that we couldn't be who we are without fathers. And I think we're also crying in the end for all those kids who don't have those fathers. Because just, I just can't imagine it. So on this day, pray for those who don't have a father.